Hello. So let's get straight into it. What's bevelling? Bevelling is basically smoothing out um, hard edges. So if you want it to uh, be more rounded. So basically to uh, smooth out edges, um, select your model. Um, preferably, pref you prefer to be in edge mode or face mode for this. Um, you might have some issues with the uh, vertex mode, depending on how many you select and if it's this vertex. But we'll get back straight. We'll get straight back to that. So let's go into face mode, right? I'm going to just basically select all the edges and hold down Control B and we bevel. And if we move the mouse wheel up and down, we can control how many segments we have. Let's undo that for a sec. We can also, you know, you can also bevel with one face and stuff, so you can kind of make like a chimney rooftop thing, I don't know. Um, so if we bevel it as well, and we apply that bevel, if we don't do anything else, um, we got all these settings here. So basically we can change the angle of the bevel, um, amount, so not the angle. Um, we can change the segments all the way up to eight. Uh, past eight, I think you had to type the numbers in. Um, so yeah, be aware of that. Uh, you can also change the profile of it. So if you want the bevels to go inwards, you can. If you don't want it a bevel in so much, you can change it in there as well. But uh, I don't really see the point of that when you've got the amount um, up there. So let's set this back to default. And um, yeah, it. If you want to bevel um, like edges here, you have to hold down Shift Control B, and then you can kind of bevel that in, change the amount of segments in it as, as well. And also, if you set that, you can actually get your uh, options up here as well. Um, another cool thing with beveling is if you're going, it, it's brilliant for um, high poly models that have. Uh, subsurf one, a uh, subsurf modifier one, and you can actually add support loops. Uh, so basically, uh, let's say we got this, and we can't. We let's say we want it to look more. Um, I don't know. It, it, the shading is just totally off of this. So basically, we we can add like loop cuts in here and stuff. We can do it that way. That there's no problem with that. Or we could just select the whole thing and do subdivide by hitting W and subdivide. Now basically want, we want all of these edges here and now we've got them selected we can actually um, bevel them out and we can change the shading of this model like so. Um, so it's pretty cool when you um, look at it as well it's like um, brilliant when you want to make um, something symmetric when you're not really working with uh, mirror modifiers in a way that it can be um, symmetric. So basically, let's say you got a p um, pipe, and you, you don't see a point of adding like a modifier to uh, sort that out, or you want UVs to be uh, the way they are. You know, you, you don't want you don't want to you don't want to go through the hassle of just creating that, just combine it down to sort out the UVs and um, fix the uh, topology by removing the middle seam and stuff like that. You, you can just basically like add a loop cut and bevel that out like so. And so that, that, that's why it's kind of cool to do it all at the same time because you know let's say you go around and try and bevel it out the shading will be off a little bit. No, it isn't going to be the same. Because the amount you, um, the distance you put into it, unless you actually go in and do the long route of um, selecting one, beveling it. I don't know why it keeps giving me an extra selection there. And um, right, noting down the amount and stuff, and then doing that over. It's just easier to select these and just bevel. And you sort out your shading and stuff like that. That that's why I like the bevel tool. It's so it's so powerful. Oh yeah. Um, nothing you need to be cautious about with the bevel tool is it will make um, end guns. So 
depending on if you want end guns or not, and if if you aiming for a game or if it's just a high poly, end guns can be okay, but they 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 are a nightmare when it comes to shading and modifiers and all sorts. So quite often you won't really want end guns. So you would have to fix the topology up also. So basically, like adding a loop cut around here and I'm just connecting them up like so uh, another thing what they also give with uh, bad topology wise is a triangle right there sometimes they don't give triangles they, they will give a quad you know this, this does kind of look like a triangle but you can see they actually got four, uh, four edges so uh, it depending on if it's a odd or even number basically so yeah um very powerful tool very powerful uh you, you know so yeah until next time um i i hope this was insightful to you guys and i'll catch you next time thank you for watching